Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today, I'm showing you how to make a Valentine's cooked breakfast. It even tries to say the word love on it and stuff. It's kind of cool. Ah, uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack. So just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother. Just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Yep, yeah, so it's Valentine's Day, the day if you haven't got a partner where you're like, oh, I really wish I had a partner. Or sometimes you're really not, you're like, thank God, Whew, I haven't. Uh, yeah, but if you have got a partner, it's the day where you're like, oh my gosh, it's Valentine's Day again. I've got to go get flowers from the like, garage like at midnight and you know, fill out the card last minute. Happens all the time. Um, so we're going to show you how to make, uh, well, we, as in me and you, just me on my own, uh, going to show you how to make a Valentine's Day themed breakfast. So uh, give this a try, hit pause on the video, Valentine's Day. Ooh, hit pause, like the two line button. What does that mean, the two lines? I don't know. Hit pause if you want to have a go. We're going to get cracking now. I've already done some steps, but let's just go. Valentine's baby. Don't know what that was. Let's go. All right, so let's grab our swim caps, put them on, and then dive straight in. I want to say dive then, like dive bunny. Uh, dive into this recipe. Uh, bacon strips there, about three. These are some baby plum tomatoes, which I've had. But if you halve them in a slightly different way with an angle, just a slit straight down right at the end, you can make a little heart shape. How romantic is that? But I'm not feeling that soppy today. You could do that. Uh, I've got some sausages too that I've halved just because they'll cook quicker. And in your country, some of you are like, I can't get sausages like that. So uh, just use your sausage of choice. And that, my friends, is a Valentine's pun in itself. So we're just going to glance right over that. Uh, this is a pan full of mushrooms, which we're just going to sort of fry up, maybe some butter, balsamic vinegar in there, salt and pepper, just to let them weep, shrivel up, and we'll just play around with it, maybe spell a funky word with it. Uh, right here, this is not pineapple, these are squares of potato, which I've just parboiled, so they're nice and soft, but we're going to sort of fry them up to give a like, nice crispy potato crouton feel. Ooh, it's getting spoiled, this recipe. Uh, this is some bread with like a heart shape in it. I saw some, well, I've seen lots of people do that on Pinterest, so I'm factoring this into the recipe. We're basically gonna fry an egg in the middle of the bread, so by cutting out a heart shape, we'll have a heart shaped egg. And last but not least, we've got some baked beans. Now those, my friends, not going on the stove. They're going modern technology in the microwave right at the end, super, super lazy. Let's just get on now. All right, so first things first, I've got a flame there, and my mushrooms are just sat on there, but they're kind of dry right now. So I'm adding a tablespoon, a balsamic vinegar, just to give it a nice twang. Very healthy coating of olive oil, but that could be butter instead, if you prefer. Maybe about two and a half tablespoons of that. Oh yeah. And last but not least, a nice grinding with my big Red Bull Crusher, another Valentine's pun. Cha-ching, straight in like that. As much or as little as you like. Oh. Oh. Yep, so I'm just stirring that round, getting it all nice and evenly coated. And those mushrooms will shrivel up pretty darn fast. So I'm gonna move that a little bit further to the back and we'll start to get our grill going. Yeah. Right, so my grill hardly ever starts, and I was just there getting a, a bit emotional going, <laughs> please start, but it did, okay? So it's getting nice and warm. This pan here is gonna be for our bread and our potatoes, so onto that heat that we just had right there. But let's grill up the bacon, the tomatoes, and the sausage. Right, so in these go. I did the mushrooms first, because they're easier to play around with. You know, they will shrivel up, but if you've got a little bit of extra time to play with, you can heat them just towards the end as well. So let that grill in there, and let's move on to our other pan with our bread and potatoes. All right, so I'm gonna use a pan pun right now. We are gonna pan to the left to look at our pans. Are you ready? Here we go. So we have got our mushrooms there, just chilling out, doing their thing, on quite a low heat now, but it's all good. We can blast them up. They're softening up already and it's smelling great. But right here is our other pan for our bread and our potatoes. There's no oil in there. So if we pan back, pan, 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 what we'll do is squeeze out the heart shape, pull out that bread in the middle, and we'll fry up our potatoes alongside it just to brown them all around the edge. So let's go for it. Righty ho, so with your heart shaped bread ready, what you're gonna do is put it in a pan, just one side down, we're gonna toast that side, and the other bit will be toasted when we pour our egg in there. So here we go, let's just push that in like that. Just wanna crisp it up. You could even have one hard, like side hard and toasted, the other side soft, but you'd have to do the egg straight away. So now you've got a little bit of space, just put in your potatoes, which you parboiled earlier. Just a little cube, and I just dropped some on the floor, little cubey potatoes in and around it. Can you hear them sizzling straight away? Oh yeah. So while that bread is toasting one side, that little bit that you cut out, that section from that heart, oot it. Right, so if I knock that bread, you can probably hear that is the toasted side. So put it the untoasted side down, and I've just separated an egg. So first of all, we're gonna pour in our egg white. Here we go, right into the middle there. Swirl it around till you're happy, and it's starting to set. And then just drop your egg yolk, perhaps right in the middle of it, like this. So after dropping my egg yolk straight into there, after I just hold it up so you can see that there, it's sat in there, 
holding that heart shape. Let's cook it right through now, remembering to flip your potatoes to brown them all the way around. And then it's time to bring it all together with your beans at the end. And I just knocked my tripod. Whoops. Right, yeah, things got a little bit crazy then, but in a good, good way, my friends. I'm literally now putting on, to chink there on my baked beans. I'm gonna put them on for a minute, stir them through after 30 seconds, make sure that heat is all scattered around. I just grabbed the spatula oh, and shoveled out the egg and the bread, like that. There's my spatula, and there is the, bro the bread with the heart on it. Ooh, there we go, all good. Uh, the croutons are all nice and browned, and the mushrooms I've literally just drained off a little bit, just I don't want too much excess oil and balsamic vinegar on there. Had a little cheeky taste, they are good. The grill is going away, roaring away right there now. Any second now, we'll pull it all together. So let's just jump to the bit where I present it, how I would, to you, if you were my Valentine. Yeah. Yeah, so all we've got at the moment right there is our eggy heart, our lonely eggy heart. So let's add those other ingredients on. This is how I'm gonna present it, but using your own imagination, you could probably come up with something a lot better than I can. But anyhow, here goes. There we are, that is my best attempt. I tried to write the word love using uh, the tomatoes for an O or maybe a heart. Uh, put some parsley on there, also refresh the bread with some olive oil, ground black pepper, got the sausages, the bacon, and the beans, and the potatoes right up in the corner there. And it doesn't look too bad actually, I'm relatively happy with that. If I sort of lift you up a little bit so you can come a bit more flush on, you'll see the V and the E is pretty tricky, but I'm pretty happy with that my friends. So there we go then guys, a nice idea for you for Valentine's Day. The good thing is, if I forget Valentine's Day for Mrs. Barry, I can just keep this and reheat it. Well, I'll have a little bit now. Mmm. Specifically went for the mushrooms because I just love mushrooms and that balsamic kick in there. Ow! It's amazing. So, if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video on the Valentine's Cook Breakfast, but remember, just any type of cooking for your loved one will make them feel really special on Valentine's Day, so just give it a go. Any recipe you want in the whole wide world. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. On the right hand side is the last video I did with Phoebe, which was Pancake Day, baby. And even Phoebe had a go at tossing, and you guys love that joke. So anyhow, see you again next time.